Hello, this is Flights in Asia, and in this video, we'll be heading to Japan where there are reports of staff shortages affecting major hubs in the country, such as Narita Airport near Tokyo. I decided to make this video after seeing reports from the Mainichi and NHK regarding the staff shortages at Narita Airport. According to the report, the staff shortages right now has attributed to the airport being unable to serve 30% of weekly flight slot requests through March next year. Out of 152 requested flight slots, only 101 were added, requested mostly by overseas airlines. The problem being reported is not a problem of the availability of flight slots, but rather the lack of needed staff to support the number of flights. Digging deeper, there was a recent survey conducted by Narita Airport of 10 ground operation companies operating at the International Air Hub. This survey cited the lack of ground equipment but also the lack of staff which is critical for operations as they serve as ground handlers who guide aircraft to the gate and also those who staff the gates to prepare for boarding. Recognizing the situation, the Narita International Airport Corporation, the operator of Narita Airport, has recognized it as a crisis. Speaking recently to reporters on November 30th, Narita International Airport Corporation President Akihiko Tamura said, quote, We feel we're in crisis. We have since strived to coordinate resources and managed to significantly improve the situation. While Narita Airport is addressing some of the staffing issues it has, some reports have suggested that this could actually be a much bigger problem for Japanese airports. In a separate survey conducted by the Japanese Transport Ministry, there was a 15% decline in airport ground crew throughout the country. From March 2019 to September 2023, the total number of ground staff at Japan's airports went down from 26,300 to 23,700. Separately, besides the ground staff, there also has been a reported decrease in airport security inspectors. Since the sharp downturn in air travel due to the COVID-19 pandemic, a report from February stated that there has been a 20% decrease in the number of security inspectors at Japan's airports. So now airports such as Narita Airport and the ground handling companies are looking for short-term solutions such as hiring and overtime. The solutions would try to mitigate the risk of strain that could lead discontent from the workers while balancing the need to ensure that Japan's airports can accommodate the ongoing post-pandemic travel boom. One solution is already something that Narita Airport and other airports in Japan are already implementing, which is robotics and automation. Japan being a leader in these industries could accelerate the use of robots and automate more tasks at airports, something that we are already seeing at airports such as Kansai, Haneda, and Narita. In Narita Airport's case, we already see driverless vehicles and automated boarding processes, and some of the airlines are also implementing this such as Japan Airlines and All Nippon Airways. These solutions are not necessarily unique as we also see these implemented at Seoul Incheon and Singapore. And likely, it's a trend that's already ongoing and we'll see more in other airports beyond these countries. That's all for now. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. This has been Flights in Asia. Thank you for watching and have a great day.